All right, so I want you to see here. See how I'm clear over in this lane. I'm literally in the other person's lane. If you look back in that mirror, which I want you to see in that spot mirror, just look right in there. See how you see that there's a whole other lane there? I'm doing that 100% on purpose because when I get up here, I want to make this corner as easy as I can for myself, and I know it's just not that busy. So I'll look to see if traffic's coming. I'll look to see if traffic's coming. I'll do a small stop. I'll come clear out to here, but now watch my rear wheels. They'll be able to come as I go clear across. They'll follow me, and I'll make a perfect turn right into my lane. See that right there? They just came right in. Boom, I'm right in my lane. My trailer never really got in the other lane. It just brought me right to the right lane because of how I positioned my truck in doing that. Now, I get it. You can't always do that. But if you can, that's how you make your life easier when you're pulling a trailer, is by looking at routes that make yourself, make your trailer get where it needs to be without making it complicated on yourself. And it takes a little bit of time to start thinking those through, but the more you do that, the simpler it is to pull something bigger and uh, makes it easier and funner for you to haul it down the road. So now we're coming down to this, you'll see a big corner. A lot of guys don't understand when you're pulling a corner, a trailer wants to be able to hold you, but you can't take this extremely fast. So what I'm gonna do is just let it sit here, let this take it the outside of this right here, and my wheels, if you'll see right there in the mirror, they're gonna follow me right through this whole entire corner without even getting excited. It just makes it really easy pull through, I don't go off the road, I don't do anything, and then I'm back and straight, ready to dial myself in and go to town. Um, it's a big important thing when you're pulling a trailer to understand braking is, it's super, super critical. And I know you guys know that, but what we don't think about is, is when we have cars in front of us, how far of our distance that we need to brake, things like that. Now, I have an exhaust brake in this truck right here, so you can see that it's right here. You'll notice that I have it turned on. Um, I think it's really important, um, unless, unless it's really icy roads, then I would not turn your exhaust brake on. But if it's not, it's roads like this, I would utilize my exhaust brake because it's, it just takes more life. It keeps more life in your brakes. So right now, if you can see, I'm starting to slow down as we speak. So I'm gonna start to hit my brakes because of the weight of the trailer and I'm gonna let that exhaust brake, see it just kicked in? I don't know if you can hear it in that, it's, it's a little harder to hear. Now, once again, I'm coming onto a four-way stop, but look at where my front tire is. I am right on the line. I'm not over, I'm as far left as I possibly can be. If somebody was to pull up to this stop sign and take a left, I'm as far over as I can be. There's a reason for that. Now I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna hit the middle of this, at least the middle, and try to crank right there. Now watch my wheels in that mirror they'll come right around and see I'll make a perfect corner. Now, let's say a car was parked there, I would have to take that off and in the dirt. But how I really learned to pull a trailer was I had livestock. So you guys probably know that I rope if you watch other videos. Well, if you have horses back there, you got a live animal. If I shove that horse's face into a trailer, it ain't cool. You know, I mean, I got horses that are 25,000 and up price-wise, and that really doesn't matter. It's still, it's, it's an animal. So when you gotta learn to drive, it's like when you see those examples of driver's ed teachers putting a cup of coffee on the top and not making it spill, that's what an animal's like when you're hauling it. You need to have the same respect and same thought with your RV because that's how you wanna keep them. So like right now, as I'm fueling my truck up, you'll feel that if that horse was back there, he wouldn't feel like I just knocked him off his feet trying to get off the line getting this thing up to speed. You know, you wanna take your momentum and use it the right way. Let your truck shift let it pull the way it needs to pull. Don't worry about anybody else and how fast you're going. You worry about you've got a big piece of equipment behind you that you're trying to be safe and that you're, 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 you're being courteous to them by just overall paying attention to what's going on. Now, what I'm always watching on these kind of roads, people do not understand what it takes for me to stop this. So I've got to be watching every one of these intersections because I know people are going to pull out in front of me. It's not a question that they're gonna pull out in front of me. They are gonna pull out in front of me. If I'm not prepared for that as I'm driving this truck, shame on me, because that means I'm not being attentive. And with this big of a piece of equipment, I've always gotta be watching to see if somebody's gonna be pulling out. Because if they do, I've gotta be slowing this down. Regardless if they're in the right or in the wrong, 
I got to be slowing down or I'm going to run into them because it takes me twice as long to slow if I do it right as it does for them to pull out and be stopped in front of me. So really be a paying attention to your traffic, what they're doing, and uh, you be the, I guess what I would say, the most alert and attentive driver when you're on the road with something like this. So I see that truck right there. I know he looks like he's turning this way, so I'm not as worried. But see, he's a good example of he could have pulled out in front of me, so I have to make sure I know he's there and see what I think his intentions are gonna be. But those are the things I'm talking about when you're pulling something like this that you just have to be super attentive. And I don't want you to get over stressed out, but I want you to want you to understand the things that I'm paying attention to so that you know I can try the best I can to prevent um, an accident or prevent something from happening. Now, this is another thing that freaks a lot of people out. You see those cones out there on the right? That means that I'm gonna have to be over into traffic a little bit to be watching that. Just remember that this, these trailers are no wider than your pickup, but barely. So you're gonna miss that even if you just stay straight. Don't get overly anxious right here to get out of your lane. Because if you do, then you cause other people to have to get further over, and if they're on their cell phone, they'll hit you, and you'll be the one fined for it because you were in the other lane. Now, you'll see this semi gonna make this corner. He's a good example to watch. Watch how far over he will go. He'll go clear over to that, you'll see that barrier. He's gonna go clear almost and hit that, see that? Before he ever cuts back in to make that trailer, make that corner. It's a perfect example of what we're talking about, how wide he got to make that happen. Now, my light just changed, so I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna stop, but I have to be in my lane, which you guys know. But this has got plenty of room, but see this turn in right here? So that means if that car's parked right there where it is, that Subaru, I'm gonna have to go clear to my second lane. And if somebody's turning in that second lane, I gotta be aware of that traffic. So I got a pickup coming that I cannot make this corner in time to beat him. So don't think you can. Like that's just way craziness. Now after this, so now I'm gonna start to roll. I'm gonna have a little bit of momentum. I'm gonna go clear wide into the outside lane. I'm not gonna even go into my lane because if you look at my trailer, it's gonna hit both lanes. So I don't even have to stress about pulling it into that. Obviously, not ideal, but what you gotta do when you're pulling a bigger piece of equipment. You gotta start to look for those things that make it easier for you. But uh, for the most part, hopefully that gives you some little things to just start thinking about, tips to think about, and stuff like that as you're uh, pulling your RV. Thanks for paying attention to uh, Camp Gurus. Really appreciate you guys, and hopefully these tips are helping you pull and uh, making your life a lot funner so that you can have a funner RV experience.